I recently attended a uh, regional meeting of the League of California Cities mm -hmm. and heard an uh, interesting presentation by CASA uh, about housing. And uh, it sounded interesting. It sounded uh, hopeful that uh, we might have, actually have some solutions coming to the legislator. Do you, do, you, do you have any idea what might be coming your direction on uh, solving the housing problem in the Bay Area? So we had a presentation on cost of the Bay Area caucus, um, which is all Democrats, uh, got together for a retreat here in my district. Um, we were in Sonoma and uh, talked, had a presentation from CASA. And, um, you know, there's a debate, of course, there's a whole CASA plan. Could we swallow the whole thing in one bill? Um, or is there too many things in there that we don't, certain members don't like that we can possibly have it in one, one bill, and I don't think it could be in one bill, that we would put it into, you know, a package of bills so, you know, you can kind of like at the buffet table take what you want. Um, and, and so that's one strategy about specifically CASA. But CASA is truly a package of, of uh, bill ideas that many of us have been working on for a long time anyway, like the accessory dwelling unit uh, policies that have really um, started in, in communities like Marin's and, uh, and so many other different tools that we've used to help with building housing and we do need to have more housing. I just left a meeting with the superintendents of all of the school districts of Marin and talk to them about how do we use surplus property in a way to build housing in our communities. And is there a way, I mean, we know that schools have a lot of traffic in the morning and, and in the afternoon. How do we streamline the planning process so that we don't need to include very costly studies on traffic for a school site that we know has two very heavy times of traffic every day? Um, and, you know, could, could there be ways to make that advantageous for schools for a couple of reasons? One, uh, we have a demographic trend occurring in our schools across the state, but certainly here in Marin, where we don't have as many students as we used to have um, in our schools. And that's going to be, that, that is going to be a, a level of complication more um, very quickly as students graduate out. Um, so we're losing revenue to our schools because of the student revenue that we get. We're also complicating uh, the pay of, uh, the way that we are paying down our pension obligations. So with fewer students and fewer dollars in our schools and maybe fewer teachers, you have fewer people paying in to cover the pension obligations. Um, and we also have a need for more housing. So could we use that for housing? Uh, per, maybe having more students in our schools because they live in that housing. Also using the revenue to help pay for unfunded pension obligations and long-term health care costs as well. Uh, health insurance costs that we've promised our teachers. And so there are a number of benefits that we can get from this uh, beyond just more housing in our community that I think are, that is really important to have this conversation with our school districts for. And I, as I mentioned to them, they're all interested. They're all nodding. Yes, these are all really good ideas. This could solve a lot of problems for us, maybe places for our teachers to live close to work, so many things. But I'm also going to need support from our local cities. So we can't have residents complain to their city councils to oppose this because they don't want more housing or more traffic in their neighborhood at that housing site. Because, you know, if uh, the Ross Valley School District says this is going to help us with some of our problems and then San Anselmo City Council, I'll use San Anselmo because there are no, no council members here that I'm talking about, um, says we don't want this in our neighborhoods, you know, that's going to make it very hard for me as the guy from Marin to then have Marin jurisdiction saying, you know what, we actually don't want more of this. Um, so it's a complicated issue, and it's not, you can't look through everything through a Marin lens. That's another really hard thing for all of us to understand. Even if all of Marin was behind this, what are they thinking, you know, in Pasadena or uh, San Luis Obispo um, or, you know, Oakland? Uh, so I got to get a lot of other members who their school districts want it too, then their local jurisdictions around those school districts aren't freaked out by it. And then are the environmentalists going to freak because I'm, I'm proposing some sequest streamlining uh, to help get housing in a place that we badly need housing. Now, we could always make it only apply to Marin County. That's one way to do it, do a pilot. Hey, is this going to work? Um, so there are all kinds of legislative ways we can approach that. If I could even get everyone in Marin to be on the same page on housing as if that's ever going to happen. <laughs> okay, other questions over here.